Hey, what's up you guys? It's Mr. Mormon's Library, and today um, I wanted to tell you guys the story behind getting book number, oh, I'm sorry, TV, I'm sorry, Goosebumps Presents TV book number 16, Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. Um, this book came in the mail today, and um, I thought I'd hold off until um, I got the book to tell you the story um, how I got it. So, um, finally have it. Uh, God is great. I'm so happy to finally have this book. Um, because it took a long time to get it. I mean, it was one of the very, very last books that I needed to complete the collection. I mean, I'm still waiting on a reprint of, um, Even More Tales to Give You Goosebumps. Um, the reprint of this book. I got it from Australia. Not the one I'm having in my hand. Um, it's a reprint, so the design is similar to um, the format of this book with like the curly there and the R.L. Stein um, at the top in that format so I'm waiting on that book and then I'm also waiting on a copy of the hardcover variant of Wanted the Haunted Mask but um, other than that oh and also uh, Slappy World 17 comes out tomorrow so, um, gotta get that book, um, but it's, it, it's nice because these books are just getting printed, so it's just catch-up, so I don't have to pay insane prices. I'll probably pay about seven bucks for it. I mean, that's not bad. Um, but telling you the story behind this, like I said, it was one of the last I needed, um, and the last of the TV books, because as you know, there's 18 of them. Um, so when it got time for me to get the book there is almost no listings I mean I've seen people's videos of the top five rarest books and this is um, always on the top five every video I've seen it's always there maybe even top three next to the haunted library but um so I knew this book would be uh, difficult to get um, and rightfully so I mean there was no listings when um, I looked for it. There was one on Thrift Books actually. It was a stock image, and like I told you, I don't like doing stock images because I've had um, someone who ordered off of Thrift Books and they were sent the wrong book, and it took them a long time to get the right book. And when you're paying upwards to like almost 300 bucks for a book, I mean, you want to make sure you know what you're getting. So I wasn't going to pay that. I wasn't going to. Um, risk getting a wrong book and just didn't want to go through that so I said no um, Facebook marketplace wasn't much help um, there was a listing someone from Australia wanted to trade um, their copy of jack-o-lanterns for a copy of calling all creeps TV book 17 they wanted to trade it or they um wanted they they would sell it but they preferably wanted to trade it in um, which I'm surprising um, this book didn't take me longer to find, but that's that'll be in another video. Um, but they were selling this book; it wasn't in good shape. The front was fine, but the um, the spine here oh, it was peeling up, and I wasn't gonna repair it. It would have looked bad on my shelf, and I didn't want to pay that. And also, buying from Australia didn't want to do that unless it was like a really great book, or I was really desperate. But I was going to hold off and wait for it. Um, so I wasn't going to go for that. Um, there was no other listings on Facebook Marketplace for this book. I did all the keywords and stuff. Couldn't find it. Um, on Mercari, I looked one day. And I looked up Goosebumps in the search bar. And I kid you not, there was a listing for this book. As well as Calling All Creeps. Two separate listings they sold them for eight dollars if only I clicked on that sooner if you're the one who bought that off Mercari good for you because you got a steal um, yeah I can't believe someone got it for eight bucks that's crazy I bet the seller was probably mad after finding they could have sold it for upwards of they could have probably got a hundred for it I mean that the, this this goes like flies away people will pay the money to get the book like I did. So Mercari, 
I looked frequently, couldn't find it. I um, was getting a little desperate. This was like weeks, and I just couldn't find anything. Then on eBay, this was under one of my safe search list. Goosebumps Rare, Goosebumps Presents, Goosebumps Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. It came up, so I said, fantastic. The book was in great shape. They were selling it for $350, and the book itself was in good condition. It was a readable copy. The pictures were inside, but the spine, it was missing some of this red from the Scholastic logo, and it was kind of peeling. I said, nope, I ain't paying it. The book has to be in good enough shape for me to put it on the shelf. He's, the seller sent me an offer for 300 and I still declined it. I was not going to pay for a book that was ripped. But it, it, I think it did sell because I don't see it anymore. Um, so I said, you know what, we're just going to be patient. Then I would say a week or two went by. That listing was still up. It was um, Monday night or Tuesday. Looking at my eBay, two listings of this book popped up. Two listings. The first listing was a seller I bought off of several times from my collecting. I got rare books such as the um, the More and More Tales to Give You Goosebumps. I even got um, some of the special editions including a Return to Terror Tower from them. So it was a worthy seller. So I said, you know what, I'm going to ask them if they can pause the listing, delete the listing. I just got to get my hands on this book. And they were selling it for $210. That's a lot of money for the book, but you know what? That's the only one of the books, I, one of the few left that I needed. So I said, you know, we're just going to bite the bullet and get the book, get it over with. I want it. Message him saying, can you hold it? Yes, I can hold it. You've been a great buyer. Um, you're dependable, awesome, great. I asked him if he could hold it until next Sunday. He said yes, but he said he couldn't ship it until the 22nd. Now, I found this listing in like the first week of June, so I said cool. But then he said he was going to wait until the 22nd for me to be able to ship because he couldn't ship. So. I would, I'd be spending the money and just waiting. Now with eBay, you don't get the money until it's been marked delivered and like a day or so went by so they can verify delivery has been um, done. So in my eyes, why should I spend the money on the book and not get it shipped until about three weeks? Because it's just spending money and waiting. He wouldn't get the money, so even if I did pay now, he wouldn't get it until... Um, it was delivered so I told him I said hey thank you for holding it I mean would it be I think it would be better if I waited until because um, that Sunday that I get paid it was like three days before the 22nd so like three days waiting that's fine hey can I pay you the Sunday and then wait three days because I don't like eBay doesn't give you the money until then so you wouldn't get it anyway I just don't want to like spend the money when I could spend that on something else because I don't know what I bought I think I bought like DVDs or something for Goosebumps and he says sure um, that that's completely fine so the um, the other listing for the book I think it was from Canada and um, they were selling it for like 240 um, I even put that on my watch list just in case, so I had two copies. I had two chances of getting the book. Um, the um, when it came to get the book on the on um, the Sunday, um, but like three days before he came back from his whatever vacation, I looked it up again just to see if there's any listings cheaper. Because I mean, it's on me. I'm spending the money, so if I can find something cheaper. I'm sorry, but I want to get a better deal. I mean, I'm, it's it's business, you know. So I found another listing. One ninety, Canada, and you know, and you know, it was can Canadian prices, so it ended up being like two fifty total because shipping, you know, um, Canadian prices in Canada, Canadian price, Canada. 
Canada prices are more than U.S. by a few, like a bit. So, um, I looked at it and I looked at the condition. The pictures were great. Um, it's the copy I'm holding right now. Um, the condition was great. It was excellent. Um, this, it was perfect, almost perfect. Now, the one I told you about that I was gonna wait to buy, it was in good shape, but it wasn't in great shape. It was good enough for the shelf, but it, I found it in a bit better shape. So I said. Sorry, dude. I know you've been holding it. I know that this is frustrating, but I got to go with the dude from Canada because one, he can ship sooner. I want to complete this collection. It's in better shape by just a little, um, and it's cheaper. I didn't hear back from the seller, so I'm assuming he got the message and he was pissed, but, um, yeah, we got the book from Canada and it's interesting because um, when I buy from Canada, usually it goes straight to Michigan because typically with Canada, Canada is like right above Michigan in most cities. And I checked and this was right above us. So it was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't my geography for Canada, but it was right above. I forget what city it came from. So the package, it said it wouldn't come until like July 1st or the 30th of June. But as you know, it's, I think it's the 27th. I, have, I don't have a calendar. I'm looking at my clock. Um, sorry for rambling, but it goes to Pontiac, which is the city town right near me. And then it went to Illinois. And then it went to Tennessee. And then it went to Ohio. See, what happened was I was supposed to get this book Thursday. And um, I didn't get it Thursday. It said it was in Pontiac on Thursday, so I was like, cool, we'll get it. And then I check, it didn't come Thursday, and I look at tracking, it said it was in Tennessee. So I was like, what? Why did it do that? I don't know why it did it, but then it went to Ohio, and then it said I would get it Monday, and it did come on Monday. So this is the book. I am keeping it in great shape. Um, so that's my story of getting Attack of the Jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I know we paid a lot of money for this book, but you know what? It paid off because it's finally in my hands. So that's my story of getting TV Book 16. Um, let me know if there's any cool stories for a book that you were collecting. I'd love to hear it. And like always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.